You're trained and qualified in the latest innovative beauty treatments. You've spent a small fortune on skincare ranges and equipment. Your salon room decor is looking fresh, contemporary and inviting. You're insured, you're primed, you're ready to go. There is just one thing missing, clients. Hi, I'm Tori, a self-employed brow and lash artist working in the UK. I have been in the beauty industry for over 10 years now and today I'm sharing with you 10 practical ideas that you can implement quickly and inexpensively to attract new clients and get more bookings for your beauty business. Okay, so no surprise that my idea number one revolves around social media. This is an incredibly powerful tool. There are so many options available to us now. My recommendation was pick the platforms that you think your clients are most likely to spend their time on. When you've chosen the platform, and I'm gonna talk around Instagram because that's the one that I use the most, make sure that you post consistently. Remember, we're trying to get bookings and new clients, not necessarily follower numbers. So firstly, make sure you introduce yourself. People like to know the face behind the business, who it is they're potentially gonna go and spend their money with. Next, really make sure you're showcasing your work. Really put forward beautiful before and after photos, shots of behind the scenes, reels of treatments in action. Make sure there's a real variety and it's really showing what it is you have to offer and what makes you stand out from the competition. Ask your clients to share and tag posts when they've been for treatments with you. Their friends and family are going to see that and you're potentially going to get more bookings from their followers. Idea number two, have a website. It's one that's really easy to overlook and just rely on social media to do the job for you. But by having a dedicated website, firstly makes you look really professional and polished, but most importantly, it increases the opportunity to rank much higher on search engine results such as Google. This increases your chances of getting more bookings because if someone in your area is searching for a treatment that you offer, then you want to be at the top of the list so that they're the first person they click on. When it comes to creating a website, my top 10 tips would be one, use a platform such as Wix, GoDaddy, WordPress. There are absolutely loads out there now and they make it really, really easy for you to be able to create a really professional looking website. Number two, make sure it performs technically well. There's nothing more frustrating than a website that takes forever to load or isn't optimized for mobiles. Number three, make sure it's consistent with your brand. So make sure you're using the same colors and font that you would on any other marketing literature, literature or on your social media pages. Number four, have your contact details on every single page. Make it easy for clients. If they suddenly decide, do you know what? I want to book in with this person. They want to be able to find a contact number or email address straight away. Make it easy to navigate. Avoid too many drop down menus and links that they need to click on to find information. Six, make sure you've linked to your social media accounts. Number seven, gather data. Invite visitors to your website to sign up for a weekly newsletter or a blog. This way you're building an email marketing database. Okay, sadly one of my SD cards got corrupted and I lost a load of the film so I'm having to refilm which is why it might look a little bit different um, on the video now. Tip number eight for having a great website, make sure it's always up to date. If you make any changes to prices, add or remove treatments or perhaps change a policy, make sure it's reflected on your website straight away. Tip number nine, link your website to Google. I use both Google Analytics and link my Google business page to my website. Again, it's just another opportunity to make sure that if people are searching for the treatments you offer in your area, you're much more likely to end up at the top of that list. The higher you're up in the rankings, the more likely someone is to click on your website and ultimately end up booking a treatment with you. And then finally, my last tip when it comes to having a great website is once it's all built and ready to go, ask a friend or a family member to take a look for you. It's really easy when you've been working so hard on something to miss some of the details. So just ask someone to click on all the links, have a little look, see what they think and give you some honest feedback. Idea number three on how to get more bookings for your beauty business, always ask for the next appointment. 
This tip is super simple and yet super effective and even better, it won't cost you anything. When you've finished a treatment with a client, always, always ask, would you like to book your next treatment today? Sometimes when you're a beginner or you're first starting out your beauty business, this can be a little bit awkward for some people, but the more you do it, the more comfortable it will become. Remember that person's just had a lovely treatment with you. They've already bought into your business, so they're much, much more likely to want to come back again. Never miss the opportunity to get a booking from a current client. Idea number four, referral schemes. I've personally found this to be a very fast way of getting new clients and getting more bookings. With a referral scheme, you're incentivizing your current clients to bring you new clients. The way I used to run a referral scheme was I would offer the current client a discount, but also the new client that was coming to me a discount as well. By also telling the new client about your referral scheme, you create a snowball effect. It was so amazing how many people I got through recommendations and referrals. Be generous with your referral scheme. It encourages loyalty and it brings lots of new people into your business. Just make sure you are still being profitable. And remember, regularly communicate that you have a referral scheme. Post it on your social media, email it out to people and tell them about it when they're in front of you. Idea number five is loyalty cards. This is gonna help you get more bookings for your beauty business by incentivizing people to book in with you regularly. This is a particularly effective marketing tool when you're in a very highly competitive area or if a client needs to come for regular treatments to see results, such as perhaps a regrowth program with eyebrows or a series of facials tackling a particular skincare problem. Just as with referral schemes, make sure you're advertising your loyalty program to people. Tip number six, email marketing. Now, I appreciate that you are thinking about your business probably 24 seven, but clients aren't. They're busy people and they're off leading their own lives. So an email is a really good way just to remind them that you exist. Use it to communicate about offers and discounts, referral schemes. You can even just send tips and tutorials to people. Just make sure you balance the amount of emails you send. We all know how it feels to be bombarded daily by unwanted emails and you end up finding that people will just unsubscribe. So use that data responsibly. Idea number seven, offers, discounts, and packages. A really effective way of running a promotion or offer is to put together a package which will actually sell more treatments to your current clients. So for example, with my signature brow treatment, I would regularly offer a half price eyelash tint. This was a very complimentary treatment to go with brows and it encouraged people who perhaps would never normally have an eyelash tint to book in and try one. Lots of people then loved the results and would book that treatment again in the future, but at full price. So think about your beauty business and what things you could put together that people wouldn't necessarily instantly book for, but might really, really love the results of. Any offer or discount that you do decide to promote, make sure you're really clear about communicating the value to the client. So for example, if I put two treatments together that normally cost 80 pounds, and instead I'm going to charge 60 pounds, I would make sure that I communicate to everyone, you are saving 20 pounds. People don't know your price list back to front like you do, and they're not gonna sit down and do the maths. So make it really easy for them so they understand straight away how valuable the promotion is. Make sure you're promoting that offer or discount as much as possible. Have signage in your treatment room or your salon, put it out there on social media, perhaps have a dedicated landing page on your website so that visitors instantly see the offer that you have at the moment. And don't forget to use your email marketing. Tell everyone you can if you're running a special promotion. It can be a great way to convert someone from thinking about booking in for a treatment and actually doing it. Idea number eight, Facebook adverts. Facebook adverts can be a truly phenomenal way to attract new clients to your business. You can run a Facebook campaign and control so many different elements about the advert. You can set the budget that you want to spend, the duration that the advert lasts for, and most importantly, the target audience. So Facebook can help make sure that your advert gets in front of people who are most likely to want to book a treatment with you. 
This marketing tool can be so budget friendly and so easy to manage, but really effective at gaining new customers. Either choose a particularly well-performing post that you've already got on your social media or create one from scratch. Make sure you've got a great hook and it's really attention grabbing for people. There's a lot of noise on social media, so you need something that's gonna stand out. Idea number nine, local businesses. So there are a few different ideas that fall into this and the first one would be collaborations. For example, if you're a skincare specialist and there's a popular nail bar in your area, you could go and talk to them about cross advertising. They would advertise your skincare specialist treatments and you would do the same for their nail bar. You've got like-minded audiences which may well be interested in each other's services and because it's mutually beneficial to both parties, you're both incentivized to cross advertise. Secondly, if there are corporate organisations in your area, you could think about offering all their employees a discount. So for example, where I used to live, there were lots of corporate businesses and I'd approach a variety of them and offer a 10% discount with a particular code just for their employees. They then advertise this to their employees as a reward scheme. Working with a corporate business and becoming part of their employee reward scheme can be a great way to tell a big number of people all about your business and what you have to offer. Other collaborations may involve actually renting a space from somebody and getting them to help advertise for you. So for example, when I first started, I was mobile, but I approached a local hair salon that didn't have any kind of beauty treatments at all, but did have a space that I could work from. I then offered them a percentage of the income of any treatment that I carried out on their premises. This incentivized them to promote me as much as possible because if I didn't do any treatments, they weren't going to get paid for the space. This way, the hair salon was benefiting because it was gaining almost like a passive income from me carrying out the treatments and I was gaining a whole new client base and exposure to different people. So think if there are opportunities in your local area where you could create something similar. And my final idea to get more clients for your beauty business is leaflets and flyer drops. Okay, this may sound a little old school, but remember not everybody's on social media. So it is really good to have a variety of different marketing ideas for your beauty business. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on ordering thousands of flyers, you could just have some really high quality leaflets printed and perhaps approach your local coffee shops if they're happy to hold onto leaflets, either at the till or even on the tables, it's a really good way of communicating to a huge audience what you have to offer. Think about other businesses that are in similar category to you that may be happy to hold onto leaflets for you. So tanning salons, hair salons, gyms, those types of places potentially are gonna tap into a new but similar audience for you. Flyer drops can be really time consuming but when I first started, I did do this and it was effective. I definitely had people come to me and say, oh, I got a leaflet through my door. Now, when you're busy, this is not an effective way to market. But when you're first starting out, if you really have very, very few clients and you can invest a little bit of money in having some leaflets printed, you can literally walk around some housing estates and drop leaflets in, perhaps put a personal code or incentive on that leaflet and it will attract new clients for your business. So those are my 10 marketing ideas and top tips on how to get clients and more bookings for your beauty business. I'd love for you to share any ideas or marketing strategies that have worked well for you. Drop them in the comments below and I can uh, have a read and other people can also learn from your knowledge and experience. If you're new to the beauty industry or you're thinking about starting a beauty business, I've linked a video here which has got my top five tips on how to start a small beauty business in the UK in 2023. It's a beginner's guide just to help you with the basics before you get started with your beauty business. Thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again on the channel soon. Take care, bye.